Hello everyone, welcome to another video brought to you by webvidtouch.com. This is video 1 in the PHP training series. In this video, we will be setting up PHP and getting ready to start the PHP training. So let's go ahead and begin. Um, what you need for PHP is, well in this series, I want you to go ahead and download WAMP server. And what WAMP server is, is it's just a bunch of collection of uh, software like Apache, comes with PHP, MySQL, PHP MyAdmin, and a couple other things that we that will be necessary in learning some PHP. And also in the series we'll be learning some MySQL, which PHP and MySQL work pretty much pretty close together. So just go ahead and download this. Um, there's also one called Zamp, like Z X A M P P, I think like that. And you can probably use that. Um, I'm pretty sure they work very similar. I have actually never used ZAMP. I've always used WAMP. But the WAMP server is located at WAMPserver.com. And just go ahead and, uh, if it's in French, go ahead and click this little English flag right here, the British flag. And just download WAMP server 2.1 E or D, it looks like. Uh, I think if you're on a 64 bit operating system, it looks like you want to download this one. And if you're on a 32-bit, it looks like you want to download this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Just go ahead and download that. I actually already downloaded it and installed it, so I will not be guiding you through the process of doing that. Usually you just click next, 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 and it's installed. But just go ahead and download that and install it. And once you have that installed, you will now have Apache, MySQL, and PHP installed on your computer. Which, that's a very good thing. And now, um, after you have that installed, you'll have a folder called WAMP right in your hard drive right here. Just lowercase WAMP. If you go into that, you'll have some other folders and some files. This www folder right here is where we're going to put all of our PHP files or our PHP pages. Why do we have to put it in here? It's because this will be treated as your, basically your internet. Uh, workstation pretty much. I guess that's how you could explain it. But PHP scripts will only run from here since this is the folder of where it will run PHP scripts on your box or your computer. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, once you're inside that www folder, go ahead and make a folder called training or something. Uh, actually, we'll change this to PHP training. And this is where we're going to store all of our PHP files or PHP web pages or applications, whichever you prefer. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click and then copy that. I'm going to go ahead and make a shortcut, shortcut on the desktop so then I can just access it really easy in future videos. And once you have all that done, you are ready to go. So make sure you have WAMP server from WAMPserver.com. I'll go ahead and show you where that is again. WAMPserver.com. Go ahead and download it. And then go ahead and install it. And, ooh, I don't want to translate. There we go, it's English. And go ahead and install that. And then you'll have everything you need to start basically creating your PHP applications. And remember the www folder, which is right here on the WAMP server www right there and then make a folder called PHP training or whichever you prefer I just call mine PHP training and then this is where all of our files will go after you have all that you are basically ready to start coding in PHP um, let me go ahead and give you a little uh, little speech on what PHP is um, it stands for hypertext preprocessor which should be HPP but I believe they changed it to PHP some other time. I don't know. But uh, basically it's code that the server runs and it's a server-side uh, scripting language and you can Im I guess you could say embed it into your web pages. Well you write the code inside the web pages and what it does is once the web page comes I'm trying to think how to explain this well, anyways, all the coding or the, all the uh, execution of the code is 
done on the server and then sent to you from the server to your client which the client is the computer you're sitting at just a regular host and so all the code that you type in PHP the server is going to execute that and then send the web page and look at it be like oh is there PHP code in here oh there is let me do whatever it tells me to do and then bam let me just go ahead and send that web page to that dude and that's basically what it does and you can make databases with MySQL and everything and PHP with MySQL is really powerful as you can create web pages and very dynamic web pages I must add PHP can make some very nice dynamic web pages um, that's just a little speech on what PHP is and what it can do and since we're already set up with our PHP things and our PHP program we are ready to start coding in PHP but that'll be all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys learned a little bit about PHP and hope you guys set up that thing pretty well and thank you all for watching and go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel and go ahead and register as a member on our site at webvidtuts.com thank you all for watching and have a good day goodbye